welcome back to my channel so today I have another Halloween tutorial for you guys and today is just going to be the full on you know classic cat makeup it's not a unique one but I thought I'll do it anyways because I've realised that some of you don't want like full on gory you know like complicated makeup looks a lot of you like it but some of you just want a simple like kind of sometimes even sexy pretty Halloween look so that's why I created this um I feel like the contacts really add to it. These are from Mesmerize, they are the wolf ones and um, everything is drugstore so this is super easy to create and yeah I'm just going to talk you through it and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye! So we're first going to start off with the cat ears. Um, you want to just brush your hair out and you want to take a small section from each side and I am teasing it because my hair just falls straight flat. You then want to grab some extra strength hairspray and just spray that in the roots and you want to fold the hair section backwards and this will create like a an ear. It's easier to just add some bobby pins in, in the back once you've folded it backwards and then just manipulate the cat ear and make it as pointy as you can. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other side, I'm just manipulating it and making it look, uh, look as pointy as possible. Just uh, add some hairspray and shape it up with your, your hands and yeah. This hairstyle is so easy to create and it's so cute and you don't really need much and I do recommend having some really extra strong hairspray I just use the boots one because it's the only one that we have but just use a really good one like the L'Oreal Elnet ones now onto the makeup I am going to start by moisturizing my skin I'm using the Garnier Nourish Plus cream for dry to very dry skin and then onto brows I'm using the Soap and Glory Archery brow pencil it this is in the shade dark chocolate and I really really love it this is my first time using it and it's so easy to use and it just creates nice defined natural brows Just to set my brow hairs in place, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Plumper in medium dark to dark and this brow gel is very very good, like it just keeps all my brow hairs in place all day long and I always like to go in with my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer in Golden just to clean up my brows. I am using the, the Balm Cosmetics Put A Lid On It Eye Primer and I'm just lightly putting this on my lids and just to set that in place I'm using the palest colour from this I Heart Makeup Makeup Geek Eyeshadow Palette. I'm now going to use this dark brown shade from the palette to carve out a really defined crease and you don't really need to be neat with it, just, just try to create a line that goes with your eye shape and then what I like to do is just go in with a lighter brown from the palette and with a smaller brush as well and just buff it in upwards from that line and you always want to use darker colours closer to the line and then kind of use lighter colours away from the line so it creates a nice transition. I'm using a yellow shade, well a yellow shimmery shade from the palette just for my lid colour and I use the brush so that it can go right up to the line. I did also use some black from the eyeshadow palette and I lightly dipped my brush into that and used that really really close to the line just to define that crease line a bit more. Now onto eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Master Ink Eyeliner in white and I'm just roughly creating a, a wing liner with this and then I went in with the NYC liquid eyeliner in black and I just went over the white and this just creates like a two like I don't know how to say it but there's two colours in the liner um, if you mess up you can always go back with the white on top of the black and I use some uh, makeup wipes just to make the liner look really sharp so after touching up with some of the white eyeliner I am using the Classy Lashes UK lashes in Adiza and then when I'm done with that I use my foundation this is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect foundation in tan I really love this foundation um, and I'm just buffing this into my skin and then I'm going to be using the NYX uh, concealer in tan as well so they have the same name but I'm just buffing this away with uh, my beauty blend then I use this sculpt and highlight pen kind of thing by NYX, this is the peach and cinnamon one, I'm using the peach to highlight my skin and then I'm using the cinnamon just to contour with it. I just went extra with this because it is a Halloween look so I did not hold back on the contouring. Um, so just to blend this out I'm just using different parts of my beauty blender. 
I did also want to define my jawline a bit more so I did go in with the cinnamon on my jawline and buff that in as well. Then to set the under eyes I'm using this NYX HD finishing powder in banana and just setting all the areas that I wanted to highlight. I'm then going to use the NYX contour and highlight pro palette and use this just to set the contour areas. I'm now going to be using the Rimmel black eyeliner and I'm just going to create really cat dramatic eyes. I'm bringing the eyeliner down into the inner corner of the eye and I'm also going to line the lower lash line with this eyeliner and just flick it out underneath the, the wing liner that we've already created. And then towards the inner corner of the lower lash line I did bring it out a bit so it opens the eye a bit more. Just to line my lower waterline I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Pencil in black. This is like a gel eyeliner but it's really pigmented so I just filled in my waterline with this and then I'm using this Collection Glam Crystals. This is like the silvery one and I'm just highlighting that inner corner bit that I created. I then just applied some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Now back to the skin, I'm using the Sleek Highlighting Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss and I use Sphinx and Goddess on my cheeks. I use uh, Sphinx mostly everywhere but then I use Goddess mostly on the apples on my cheeks because it's more intense on my skin and I also use that on my temples as well. I did also do a bit of contouring around my nose and the tip with this is that you want to create the lines towards the inner bit of the nose and not try to follow your actual nose shape. It sounds weird but you want to bring the lines further in so it just makes the nose look a bit thinner. I am using the eyeliner again to create the cat nose. You want to kind of create a heart shape on the nose and then I'm drawing a line in the centre and then filling up my top lip with the eyeliner. And then on the two corners of my mouth I did flink the eyeliner outwards a bit so it creates a nice you know cat, cat kind of mouth. And then I also used the other side of my um, brush to create the dots and also the whiskers. By the way the brush that I used for all the eyeliner work was the Sigma Euro 6 brush. It's such a good brush for like precise work. Um, I do have a coupon code in the info box if you guys are interested but it's such a good brush. Um, and yeah just touch up with the whiskers. I made them darker towards the centre and then flick them outwards. I'm using the L'Oreal Dazzle Gloss in 210 which is disco ball. It's like such a lovely gold colour. But yeah that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.